So there are really countless ways that we can access this vibrational field of love. And I think we all instinctively know how to get there. And we may want to experiment with some of these other methods just to kind of see, you know, if something might be even more effective. The point is to do it, right? And to be intentional about it, immersing ourselves in that highest vibration, that vibrational field of love is that thing that lifts us high above that dualistic thinking so that we can actually experience the truth of who we are. And then you see, we can see infinite possibilities. We can see the in and open to the infinite possibilities. This is the creative realm, right? The manifestation realm, some people call it. This is where we can choose what we truly desire to experience in our lives from this field of infinite possibilities and call it forth into our lives. And I think that that is what the Fillmores had in mind when they develop the method and the, the steps of affirmative prayer. I mean, when you think about it, the first three steps of affirmative prayer are kind of all about how to get into that higher consciousness, that higher vibrational realm. So let's look at it together. So the first step is relaxation. Not only do we relax our physical body, but we also relax the mind chatter. We relax uh, our focus on the past or the focus on the future. We relax into the present moment. And we also are relaxing our attachment to the outer world, to the relative world of effect. You know, knowing that all form and experience have it, has its origins in mind. So that second step now is focus or uh, concentration. Now, I don't really like the word concentration because you know it's, it feels like such a mental effort and that's really not what it's about. So I like focus a little bit better. So we're really in this step, now that we've released this attachment to the outer world of form and experience, we can open to that higher realm, that creative mind or the absolute, right? The absolute, and we can focus on the qualities of this absolute realm, which are infinite peace, infinite love, pure joy, limitless creativity, uh, um, intelligence, um, abundance of all good, limitless, all providing substance, wholeness, well-being, all of that. Those are the qualities of the absolute. And so then the third step is meditation, contemplation, right? This is where we open, we fully open to that vibrational realm of love. It's where we open to it and we can really experience the truth of who we are. We can experience that we are an essential part of this one, that we are an idea in the mind of the universe we're God's idea of itself in expression. So whatever is true of it is true of us. So we dive into that awareness and we drink deeply of the waters of pure being. So these three steps now help us connect with this realm of pure potentiality this vibrational realm of love. And then once there, the invisible substance of this realm is now receptive to our focused thought or our intention, which allows it to become realized in our experience. And that's the last two steps. That's what the last two steps of affirmative prayer are about, right? 
This is where we choose and claim some specific good. And then we get into this um, acceptance and giving thanks that it is already ours, that it is already ours. So affirmative prayer is sort of designed in this way to get us to this higher vibrational realm and so that we can feel our oneness and really know at our core. And so...